put a finger down if you decided to take your car for a wash and met a cute cool guy put a finger down if you and this cute guy started having a conversation Put a finger down when you started realizing that actually you and this cute, cool guy have one or two things in common. <laughs> so before we do the put a finger down challenge, let's reset. It's a Sunday. I decided to visit Plateau Coffee for the very first time in Brankston to taste their coffee. A real fam. <laughs> I did not sleep after having this coffee because I think the caffeine was just a lot. But nevertheless, I enjoyed it. Beautiful, smooth coffee. I had the cappuccino and the coffee freezo. Yeah, freezo. Yeah, it was amazing. I enjoyed myself. It's a beautiful little space. I love the aesthetics there. It's small and cute at the same time. So real fam, let's enjoy this video. I'm not really going to be talking much. I'm gonna be journaling now, so come on, let's journal together. Well, I'm having a cookie here, which I did not enjoy. I don't think I enjoy such cookies. Uh, yeah, I know, I don't know, the taste for me, it kind of tastes like it has been sitting there for ages, you know. Or maybe I'm just not a chop chip kind of girl, so yeah, I just had to pause there and yeah general my thoughts because yeah this month has just been a lot so i really needed to regroup beloved i pray that in all respect that you may prosper and be in good health just as your soul prospers that's a three john verse one to two if you are part of the wisdom and wellness family this verse will be familiar to you so real fam the aim is to not really talk much here. I wanted to obviously have a chat with you while, you know, in this moment. But it was windy outside. As you can see, my hair is all over the place. But yeah, nevertheless, it was great. I enjoyed journaling. I really loved every moment of it. And I think I encourage you to do this every now and again. Just go out you know from your usual environment just to find another environment and do something like this for you put a finger down if you decided to take your car for a wash and met a cute cool guy put a finger down if you and this cute guy started having a conversation put a finger down when you started realizing that actually you and this cute cool guy have one or two things in common put a finger down when you started enjoying the conversation and you guys were just engaging and it was just nice and the feeling was just amazing <laughs> put a finger down if you got a moment to reflect um talking to yourself and be like mm, okay he's cute but i'm not looking to <laughs> find a guy i was just here to wash my car <laughs> put a finger down if you realize that okay there's nothing wrong having a conversation with a total stranger put a finger down when you admire and read the menu but still be on a diet because at the end of the day, even though you are single, um, it would be nice to get someone, but you're not gonna open that door to just anyone. Just because you met someone, that does not mean that you can do that. Put a finger down when you realize that actually it's refreshing to have a conversation with a total stranger especially a guy and you get to have a refreshing conversation and realize that actually there's still men out there that kind of align with what we women actually think or what we want especially in relationships put a finger down if you walked away from the car wash after your car was done and you walk away with a smile and you just reflect on this lovely conversation that you've had with this guy 
put a finger down when you realize that oh actually that was nice even though i didn't get his name or know or his number or know where he stays it was okay and it was nice to just have that refreshing conversation with someone that i didn't know put all your fingers down when you've realized that actually there is nothing wrong just because you're single and you meet a guy and you have a conversation with that does not mean that it's opening a door for you guys to date just because you're single and happen to meet someone yes because you're single it's okay to be you know looking and reading the menu but it does not really mean much and also it's nice to meet guys that can have a conversation with you without even trying to hit on you if you know what i mean i'm not contradicting myself but all i'm saying is that it's a really nice and refreshing to just have random conversations with another person and talk about relationships talk about you know love and all of that but without any strings attached, without another person having a certain intention of or looking at the other with like, mm, okay, you cute or whatever. Well, I was looking at the guy like, oh, you cute and whatever. But I quickly got up my thoughts and said, oh, girl, it's okay to read the menu, but still be on a diet. It's okay to admire someone's beauty um, and someone's mindset as well because i think the conversation the way um we held that conversation it was really nice and it's, it's it's actually great to interact with a thoughtful person and i mean i just met him for like two seconds okay i can't really say a lot but throughout our conversation i could really pick up um someone who genuinely has you know um a good overview of how love relationships are even you know tr you know touching on each other's experiences in terms of love generally not necessarily putting our <laughs> stories love stories whatever out there so it was actually quite refreshing so uh, this is just my sunday reflection and what i got up to today um Apart from the car wash, you saw I did my coffee shop and my journaling, went to church and just had an amazing Sunday. So that's how I wrap up my Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate you. And yeah, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think of this put <laughs> your finger down challenge? Um, what do you think? <laughs> okay real fam thank you so much for watching i love and appreciate you it's been a long day i think it's time for me to yeah go shower and prepare for tomorrow for a new week wishing you a lovely week ahead um yeah take care and know that i love and appreciate you and of course i can leave you with an affirmation or a verse of the day you know i'm not stingy when it comes to that right okay so what's the word today all right i'm gonna read it because i've got this led lighting going on and off and yeah well different colors different color modes and i hope that it's not distracting to you well surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and i will dwell in the house of the lord forever john 15 verse 16 amen to that i will dwell in the house of the lord i was in the house of the lord today and i was asking myself why haven't you been to church for so long yes you've been churching online but it's not the same like being in the house of the lord so yeah i'm so excited i just had a beautiful day and i'm wishing you a lovely week ahead mm -hmm. love you